So you might be in a position where you want to disable 5G on your iPhone. Now luckily for you, whether you have an iPhone 13 Pro or you have an iPhone 14 like this one, it is pretty much identically the same exact experience. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make your way over to your settings application. So when you come into settings, you'll come into a page like this. Now what you want to do here is you want to scroll down until you see cellular. So you want to go and click on cellular right here. It's so hard to say it. And then what you want to do here is you want to find a little option that says cellular data options. So what is your second option right here? Sometimes you may see roaming on or whatever, but what you want to do is you want to click on that and you'll basically come into this specific panel. Now what do we want to do here is at the very top, you'll see data roaming. You'll see voice and data, data mode, and then you'll see a limit IP address, whatever. The voice and data is the first you want to click on. Now, if you see 5G on or 5G auto and you want to disable 5G, well, you want to make sure it is on the LTE option right here. If it is on either one of these two options up there, that is going to give you a little bit of a different experience. So make sure this specific one is toggled on LTE, which is like 4G. You want to swipe back out and under data mode, you want to click here, not that one, you want to click here and you want to do the exact same thing again. If you want to allow more data on 5G, well, you want to go and, you know, keep that basically means 5G is enabled. Now, if you want standard, you can see right here what that basically means. If you want low data mode, if you want to essentially reduce cellular data usage, you can go ahead and turn that on. I probably wouldn't recommend doing that. Keeping it on standard is probably the better way to go. So those are the two different options you have. I would recommend keeping, the, if you want the, again, it may affect your speeds and everything, so keep that in mind. If you don't know what you're doing, then you can keep them stock. But otherwise, you can turn this one on standard. You can turn this one on LTE, and that is pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.